This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Viewers, in this video, we will learn how to use filter in Excel. So here you can see that we have a table. And to apply filter, we first select any cell of this table and press Ctrl, Shift, and L. So this way you can see that filter has been applied to all the cells, all the columns of this table. And if you want to remove it, just press again Ctrl, Shift, and L. The other way of applying filter in Excel is to click anywhere in the cell of the table and go to the data tab here you can see that there's an option of filter and if you click on the same filter have been applied to all the cells to all the columns of this table but here again if you want to clear it just click it again and you can apply it and remove it with the help by clicking at the filter button so here you can see that there's a shortcut key of uh, you can see on the screen that control plus shift plus L is the shortcut key of uh, selecting and selecting filter in Excel and what's the definition of it is it enables filtering of the selected cells once filtering is turned on click the array in the column header to choose a filter for the column like if I click over here and would like to see uh, if I remove all the option and just click at the select all and all the tick marks all the cells which were selected have been unselected and now if I'm gonna choose on the keyboard and I click at this checkbox and click OK so you can see that we can only see the commodity keyboard and can see the total figures of four months like January February March and April and if I click at select all then I can see again all the data on all the table to its original position and I click at the modem then it shows the total of the modem of different months and now again if uh, I if you want to select the values uh, right in this uh, table then you can just go to the just click this drop down menu list and select the number of filters here you can see there are multiple options like equals to does not equal greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to between and if I want to see the values uh, below 500 then I select this drop down button and go to less than and will type 500 and press the OK button then you can see that we can only see the values which are lesser than 500 and if I go back if I want to see all, all the all of them then I just unselect this option and remove it and you can see that can see again all the options to its original position likewise if uh, I want to see the values which are equal to like uh, 980 then I click at this drop down button and we'll select equals and type 980 and press ok then we can only see the values of the month February which are equal the values which are equal to 980 so this is the other way of uh, using uh, filter in excel for number values so i hope that you have found this video helpful for learning 